and now the assignment for basis for vector space of all 2 by 3 real matrices. Now the example is let V be the vector space of all 2 by 3 matrices which means there are 2 rows and 3 column right 2 means 2 rows 3 means 3 columns right so the vector space is 2 by 3 matrices real matrices over the field R and we have to find out the basis for V. So by hypothesis, what kind of the matrix V is? It's a 2 by 3 matrix. So I'm writing here as the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, right? Two rows and three columns. So it's a 2 by 3 matrix where A, B, C, D, E, F, all these belongs to the real numbers because it is 2 by 3 real matrix right okay to find out the basis for this vector space let's take one element from v first and let me take this element only it's of the type a b c d e f this is the element is of the form 2 by 3 matrix from this vector space v so i have taken one element from v in the form of 2 by 3 matrix and this element can be written as, can I write it as A0000 plus 0B0000 plus 00C000 plus 000D00 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, e, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, F finally. So if I add all these, I will get back this matrix. And now taking A common from first one, then taking B common, C, D, E, F, right? So taking all these common, I get 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus B. 0, 1, 0 and then C it's 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 and then 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 and then taking E common this is sorry this is 1 and then taking F common I get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you look at here, we can see here that this A, B, C, D, E, F, this matrix is a linear combination of all these matrices. Which means all these matrices. Now, but A, B, C, D, E, F, it's a, it was arbitrary, right? Which means Every element of V is a linear combination of all these matrices. So which means every element of V is a linear combination of all those matrices which means V is generated by all these matrices. So therefore, thus V is generated by all those matrices. So let me mark this as 2. Let me mark this as 1. And then the second step is we have to find, we have to check whether these matrices are linearly independent or not. For that, let's take the linear combinations uh, of these matrices with alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, alpha 6, right? So I'm writing the linear combinations of these matrices.
So this is the linear combinations of these matrices which is equal to zero matrix, right? Uh, okay, let's multiply then, okay. I get from here alpha 1 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0. So this will be alpha 1 only, right? And then from here, this is 0 plus alpha 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. So I get alpha 2 here. And then again, alpha 1 multiplied by this 0. It is 0. Alpha 2 multiplied by this 0. Again, 0. Alpha 3 multiplied by 1. I get alpha 3. Then remaining are again 0. So likewise, I get, if I add, multiply and add, so I get alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, alpha 6, equal to the zero matrix. And if you compare the elements, you get alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, alpha 6, all these to be equal to zero. This is what we need for linearly independent All are equal to 0 which means all the scalars are 0 for that linear combination so the uh, this implies the matrices are linearly independent right so from 1 and 2 because V is generated by these matrices and such matrices are linearly independent so from these two results we can say that these matrices forms basis for V so from 1 and 2 these the complete set of these matrices is a basis for V Thank you.